In this video, we'll be taking apart the POCO M6 5G. And if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. Also, if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, as always, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a look at the SIM tray. Now heat needs to be applied to the back plate with either a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath and then a pry tool can be used to pry the back plate off. Now one thing I noticed while heating up the phone, this plastic back plate seems to be very thin so once heated up the back rises and forms some sort of a belly or bubble. But once it cools down it sits back down. So this might be something you'll encounter while using the phone when it heats up. The heat might cause the back plate to rise up a little bit. It's not something you really want but it is what it is. It's just something more of an aesthetic thing and nothing to really worry about. Here's a look at the thin plastic somewhat paper like backplate. At this point there are 17 Phillips screws which need to be removed. Once the screws have been removed, a plastic pry tool needs to be placed in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and ran along the edges to pop off the catches. Once the back housing is free from the frame, you'll need to disconnect the flex cable for the fingerprint scanner from the main board. The back housing is also made of plastic. If you need to replace the glass camera lens covers, those can be replaced by applying heat and gently prying them off. So you don't need to take apart the phone to replace those. There's an area of graphite film to help transfer heat. Taking a look at the other side, we can see numerous antenna flex cables around the border of the back housing. Now that we have access to the battery cable, it can be disconnected from the main board. Now we can proceed to disconnect the rest of the cables. The coaxial cable on the bottom right side of the board can be disconnected by just popping it off. Diving into the main board, there's a 50 megapixel primary camera and a 2 megapixel depth lens. Neither of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. As for the camera connectors, those can be disconnected by just popping them off. The LED flash is located in the punch hole cutout in the shield. There's also more graphite film on the shield to help transfer heat. And the headphone jack is located on the top corner, which is covered with a rubber gasket. Looking at the other side, we can see that 5 megapixel front facing camera, the SIM and memory card reader, as well as copper tape and thermal paste on the back to help transfer heat. There is also a proximity or light sensor located on the top. Once the copper film has been peeled back, we can see additional thermal paste on top of the processor and we can see the RAM located next to the processor. When it comes to removing the battery, there is a pull pouch provided to help you pry it off. And with Xiaomi or Poco phones, the adhesive pull pouch is very easy and convenient to use.
Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. And this battery is a lithium polymer battery. Once the battery adhesive pouch has been peeled back, we can see this flex cable which connects the main board to the screen and the subboard. So if you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back plate, the screws on the back housing, you'd have to disconnect the battery cable from the main board as well as the screen cable and the flex cable over here on the bottom by the subboard. You'd pry the battery off as well as the adhesive pull pouch, at which point you can heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to loosen up the adhesive underneath, pry the old screen off, apply new adhesive, Reapply the new screen, making sure you run the flex cables back to the openings in the midframe, and reassemble the phone. Looking at the bottom speaker assembly, we can see a mesh filter over the speaker opening. And here's the speaker itself. Looking at the subboard, we can see the primary microphone located over here, as well as the charger port with a rubber gasket around it. Here's a look at the other side. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner, which is held on with some adhesive. To replace that, just apply some heat and gently pry it off. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located on this side. To replace that, just gently peel it off the frame. And the top earpiece speaker is located here, which is also held on with some adhesive. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it an 8 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, apply new adhesive and reapply the back plate. Flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.